getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. Sorry, Caillou, but the barbecue is too hot. Why don't you go play with Rosie until dinner's ready? <laughs> look, Mommy, look! Oh, no! Ants! <laughs> Yuck! Why don't you go see if Grandma needs some help in the kitchen while I make sure there are no more ants around? Okay, Mommy! Grandma, what are you doing? I'm making my special top secret potato salad. Top secret? Shh. <laughs> you can be my taste tester. Yummy! What a beautiful night. I think I see the evening star. Wow, it's pretty. This reminds me of the time I saw a shooting star. A shooting star? It's a star that flies across the sky like a bird. It's like magic. Well, Caillou, let's get back to work. Come and get it. Yum! Look, a shooting star. Wow! What a beauty. It was just there a second ago. Grandpa, there was a shooting star outside, but it's gone. I'm sure there'll be more. Well, let's go see. Look, Caillou, there goes another one. Where? I want to see. <sighs> Don't feel bad. Shooting stars are very fast and hard to spot. Caillou still wanted to see a shooting star. He decided he would wait as long as he had to. I'm sorry you missed the shooting star, Caillou. Why don't we look at the moon instead? Yay! I want to see the moon! <gasps> the moon is big! You see this group of stars? That's called the Big Bear. I can't see a bear. Oops. Let's see, where were we? Here we go. And that one's the Little Dipper. See you soon. Look quick, Caillou. Oh, I missed it again. Don't worry, Caillou. There'll be other shooting stars some other night. Caillou wasn't sure he would ever see one. He felt sad. Time for bed, Caillou. It's late. Nighty night. Good night, stars. Wow. Caillou wasn't sure if he should be waking Mommy and Daddy up. Gilbert! Good morning, Caillou. Do you want to fly this morning? <laughs> Daddy, make me fly! Wee! Oh, no! The alarm didn't go off. I'm going to be late for work. Caillou, why don't you go downstairs and feed Gilbert? I'll get Rosie up. Gilbert, wait for me! 
Gilbert, look what you did. Caillou! Mommy's in a hurry, so eat up, okay? Caillou wasn't happy that everyone was in such a rush this morning. <laughs> That'd be funny. Whoa! <laughs> Finish your breakfast, Caillou. We're in a hurry. We ate all our breakfast. Great! Could you brush your teeth now? You want to look like mommy? Yeah! Go like this. Rosie, don't move. Caillou, did you do this to your sister? Uh, I wanted Rosie to look pretty like you. You know that you're not allowed to play with my makeup. Come on, Rosie, let's get you cleaned up. Go on, get dressed. You and Rosie are going to your playgroup this morning. I don't want to go to playgroup. Caillou! What's taking him so long? Go on and start the car, honey. Caillou, Mommy is waiting for you outside. Caillou couldn't keep up with the hustle and bustle and began feeling a little overwhelmed by it all. I don't want to go with Mommy. I want to stay home with you. But I'm going into work later on. I don't want you to go to work. Hang on. I'll be right back. <laughs> Mommy was told to go on ahead and that Daddy would walk Caillou to playgroup. Yay! Are we gonna stay home and play today? No, Caillou. Daddy still has to go to work. But first, let's get you dressed. I have something to show you. What are you going to show me, Daddy? I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of people that have to go to work, just like Mommy and me. Good morning, Caillou! Working? Sure am. I'm delivering the mail. Would you like to help me? Can I? Here, could you take this letter and put it in Mr. Hinkle's mailbox? You see, Caillou? A mail carrier works every day. Why? To make sure that Mr. Hinkle gets his mail, and your dad gets his bills. <laughs> I'll get that one. <laughs> Over there, Daddy, quick! I can get it. Are you sure you two don't want to come and work with us? Can we? Sure, but not until you're a little older, okay? You have to wait until you're big and strong. It's a tough job keeping the town clean. After all that hard work, how about we get us a snack? Yes! I just have to make a quick stop first. Why do you have to work, Daddy? Because I enjoy working, and I make money doing it. But the machine gives you money. Yes, it does. But first, I have to put it in. Is it a chocolate chip muffin like mine? No. Can you turn on the lights on top? Maybe the officers are busy, Caillou. Not at all. We're on break. Would you like to turn them on, Caillou? Yes. This is Officer Caillou, 10-4. 
Okay, Officer Caillou. Time to let them go back to upholding the law. Daddy, I want to be a police officer when I grow up. You can definitely do that too, Caillou. But first, let's get you to your playgroup, okay? Daddy has to go to work now, just like all the people we saw at work this morning. Okay? Okay. There you are, Caillou. I was wondering when you were going to show up. Mrs. Martin, I sat in a police car. Really? <laughs> that must have been fun. <laughs> I was showing Caillou people at work. We also saw a mail carrier and a garbage collector. Right, Caillou? But the police officer has the best job. But I think my job is the best in the whole world because I get to play with you. 10-4, Officer Caillou. Gilbert to the vet for his regular checkup. Gilbert, where are you, you bad cat? But Gilbert was missing. I can't see the box anywhere, honey. Are you sure it's down here? Did you find Gilbert, Caillou? No, Daddy. And I can't find his box. Look what I found. When Gilbert saw his box, he knew that meant he would be going in the car. And Gilbert didn't like going in the car. Gilbert doesn't want to go to the vet. I know, but he has to. He needs a checkup. A checkup? Like when I go to the doctor? Exactly. The veterinarian is Gilbert's doctor. It's okay, Gilbert. I'll look after you. <laughs> Gilbert got out of the box. Okay, don't worry. Everything's under control. I hope. I can see his tail. Bad cat, Gilbert. He's not really a bad cat. He's just scared. He doesn't like riding in the car. Silly Gilbert, I love riding in the car. Gilbert was back in his box and they were on their way again. By the way, Caillou, just how did Gilbert get out of his box? I just wanted to pet him. That was nice of you, but let's leave him in the box from now on, okay? Okay. Hi, Caillou. What are you doing here? Gilbert is having his checkup. Oli's here to have his teeth cleaned. He has to stay overnight. Did you bring his toothbrush? <laughs> no, silly. He doesn't have a toothbrush. Dr. Orangeville has to clean his teeth for him. <laughs> Good! Everything's fine here. And now I have to give Gilbert his shots. Is it going to hurt? Not very much. And it'll make sure he stays healthy for a whole year. How would you like to help me, Caillou? Just pet Gilbert and keep him calm. Don't worry, Gilbert. There! All done. That wasn't so bad, now, was it? Gilbert, come back! Oh, no, not again. Hi, Leo. What have you got there? It's my new rocket! Wow! <laughs> Having fun? <laughs> We're spacemen! 
I thought you might be. We're going to the moon. <laughs> Just make sure you come back in time for lunch, okay? <laughs> Can you play with Teddy? I don't want to. The moon's this way. Spacemen, slow down a bit. Rosie really wanted to play with Caillou and Leo. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. There's a planetarium opening tomorrow. I think I know a couple of spacemen who'd be interested in that. <laughs> Me too. And look, they're having a contest for the best space costume. A space costume. Hmm. <laughs> Are you play with Teddy? No, Rosie. <laughs> I know you want to play with them, sweetie. Tell you what, why don't we find a game we can play? <laughs> we could make space costumes. <laughs> Have you heard the news? They're opening a planetarium. What's that? Well, let's see. It's a kind of movie theater where you can see stars and planets inside. Wow. Can we go? I don't see why not. Would you like to come too? <laughs> I'll call your mom. And there's a contest too. Contest? Yes, for the best space costume. Leo, you look just like a spaceman. And I'm a space monster. <laughs> Caillou, Mommy told me you made Rosie cry today. I know you don't always want to play with Rosie, but she is your sister, so you always have to be kind to her. Okay, Daddy. Come on, finish your milk. It's time for bed. <laughs> You've got milk on your lip. What's so funny? Oh, I get it. <laughs> You do look like you've been to the Milky Way. What's the Milky Way? Well, let's see. It's, um, it's the galaxy containing the solar system. It's a place in space where there are millions and millions of stars. Just what I need. What do you want those for? It's a secret. Caillou really wanted to know what Mommy's secret was. What Caillou and his daddy didn't know was that Mommy was making space costumes too. Perfect. Why aren't there stars? Um, I, uh, hmm. Night, night, Daddy. That night, Caillou dreamed all about the stars and the planets and the Milky Way. my costume? I'm gonna win the contest. Welcome to the planetarium, everyone. <gasps> I have a special game for you today. Look, I'm walking on the moon. <laughs> Can you do this? <laughs> that 
That's great. <laughs> and over here is the Milky Way. <laughs> And now something extra special. Walking on the moon. This is the moon. And here come the moonwalkers. And that's the end of our show. Except for just one more thing, the contest for the best space costume. And the prize goes to... Rosie and Rosie's Mommy. So that's what Mommy wanted the oven mitts for. Congratulations. to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With Mommy and Daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. Pirate Caillou. Looking for treasure. Pirate Caillou didn't know that he was going to find a real treasure that day in a most unexpected place. I can't wait until Caillou's a bit older so I can teach him how to play football. Like I taught you. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Come on, Pirate Caillou. It's time to go home. I don't want to go home. I didn't find the treasure yet. Well, wherever it is, it'll still be there the next time. We're home, Mommy! Mommy, what are you doing? I'm cleaning up. Can I help? Sure. Here, put this in the box. Okay. Oh! Sorry, Mommy can't come to the phone. She's busy. Oh, I thought I told your dad to throw that old thing away. <laughs> He's such a pack rat. What's a pack rat? A pack rat is someone who can't throw anything away. Am I a pack rat, Mommy? Well, you do have a lot of toys in your room that you don't play with anymore. I play with all my toys. Caillou, I really have to finish sorting these books. When Caillou saw the old trunk, he was very curious to see what was inside. 
Caillou didn't know it, but he had discovered the treasure he was looking for. Wow! A chest full of things his daddy had collected. <laughs> what have you got there? Smile! I'm taking a picture! Click! Wow! <gasps> what have you found now? A whole bunch of stuff! Let me see that. I wore this when your daddy took me to a special dance. I can't believe he kept it. Hey, what are you guys up to? Look, Daddy. Oh, my old harmonica. You're such a pack rat. Mommy said I'm a pack rat, too. What have you got there? What is it? I don't believe it. This is my old college football. All it needs is a bit of cleaning up and some air. Would you like me to teach you how to play? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I taught him everything he knows about football. Ready, Caillou? Here it comes! Uh. It was a beautiful weekend and Caillou was very excited because he was going camping. I need to go! Now! Are you sure you can't wait? What's the matter, Rosie? Uh, mommy, gone! <laughs> You're right, and so's Caillou. There you are. Yay! Where's Caillou? <laughs> he needed to make a pit stop. Caillou! I'm finished! Come on, we better get going. Yeah, let's get this show on the road. Um, on second thought, What's the matter, honey? I... I... I think I better go, too. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? It's a moose crossing sign. There are a lot of moose in the forest, and that tells drivers to watch for them. A moose? Wow! Can I see one? Rosie, too! Hmm, you shouldn't get your hopes up too high, Caillou. Why? Because moose are very shy. Caillou thought it was strange that such a big animal could be shy. Hi, folks. Welcome to Camp Rome. My name's Pierre. What's yours? Caillou. You're going to have lots of adventures here, Caillou. You can play games and go swimming and even climb a mountain. What would you like to do first? I want to see a moose. I'm afraid it's not very likely. Moose stay away from people most of the time. I don't think we've ever seen one in the camp before. What do you say we give them a hand with that? Nice work, Caillou. Are you coming in, Caillou? Wait for me, Mommy! Oh. What's the matter, sweetie? Come on, the water's great! But something's swimming in the water. Those are little fish, Caillou. Don't worry, they're more afraid of you than you are of them. Caillou wasn't so sure that he wanted to swim anymore. Um, it's too deep. It isn't deep at all. It's cold. 
Don't you want to splash me? <laughs> Once Caillou got into the water, he wasn't afraid anymore. <laughs> and pretty soon it was time for lunch. Mmm, something smells awfully good. I could eat a horse. Well, I could eat a moose. <laughs> Chipmunk! Shoo! Shoo! <laughs> we really shouldn't feed the wild animals, Caillou. Why? Because they have to get their food from the forest. What are you two doing this afternoon? We're going mountain climbing. That's it, Caillou. Keep going. You're doing great. Uh, whoa! Are you okay? Caillou was frightened when he slipped, but he wanted Daddy to see how brave he was. We're almost there. Look! Oh! We did it! I'm very proud of you. I guess mountain climbing must be hard work. <laughs> Come on, guys, it's bedtime. Everything's ready in the trailer. I want to stay in the hammock. It would be fun to sleep outside. Okay, then. Caillou loved sleeping in the hammock in his daddy's arms. Night, night. Sleep tight. Don't, Don't let, let the, the bed, bed bugs, bugs bite. bite. <laughs> very impressed by the moose. He had never seen such a big animal before. Mommy, Mommy, come and see. Daddy, what? Daddy, look. Oh, wow. Shh, we have to be as quiet as mice, remember? Moose are very shy. It's a moose. Moose! Moose! <laughs> moose gone. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou thought it was funny that such a big animal could be frightened away by a little girl like Rosie. Afternoon, Caillou and Sarah were playing in Sarah's backyard. Sarah, supper time. 28, 29, 30. Yay, I did it! Let me try now. You're too little to jump rope. Show me how, Sarah. It's time for supper, Sarah. Come in and set the table, please. I'll show you how another day. Bye, Caillou. Why don't you have supper with us, Caillou? I'll call your mommy and ask her. Your mom says you can stay, Caillou. Why don't you help Sarah set the table? Just put them in front of each place. What are they? They're chopsticks. You eat with them, like this. noodles and vegetables. I love noodles, but I don't like vegetables. What's this? It's an egg roll. Don't worry, it's not a vegetable. Oh, 
Good shot, Caillou. Chopsticks can be a bit tricky at first. Caillou learned that it takes a bit of practice to get the hang of using chopsticks. Oops. Sarah's cat, Ollie, was very happy that Caillou had come for supper. I eat my egg roll with my hands. Maybe you should use your fork now, Caillou. Okay. Eat your bok choy, Sarah. It's good for you. Look, Sarah. Caillou is eating all of his. Bok choy is a vegetable, Caillou. You hate vegetables. Oh. I like Chinese vegetables. Dragon? Yes, it's a Chinese dragon. Would you like to try it on? Ooh, you make a very scary dragon, Caillou. <laughs> Green is my favorite. Green is my favorite, too. <laughs> Caillou, what are you doing? I want to try the chopsticks. Oh, you can't eat this with chopsticks. It's much too slippery. Wow! Oops! Show me how, Caillou! Caillou was able to show Sarah something new. Mommy were on their way to play ball in the park. What's that? You've heard that before, remember? I know. It's to tell us when it's safe to cross. Excuse me. I'm looking for the dog run. I know where it is. You do? Where? The park is just over there. You can't miss it. Thank you. Every time Caillou went to the park, he liked to look at the map and decide which way to go. I want to go this way. Okay. It's okay, don't worry, they won't bite you. You have two dogs? Oh no, I'm a dog walker. That's my job. Caillou thought being a dog walker sounded like a great job. I'm taking these guys to the dog run. It's here. I'm going there. Maybe we'll see you later. Still, guys? Is there anything we can do to help? I don't think so. That was pretty funny, wasn't it? <laughs> Coming through! Shake hands. Wanna try? Hi, Dylan. I'm Caillou. Why don't you throw that for him? He's pretty good at catching balls, too.
Here you go. Ugh. <laughs> Pretty gross, huh? Catch you later, dude. I think you'd better wipe it with this, honey. Okay. A little farther on, Caillou's mommy met an old friend of hers named Barbara. And you must be Caillou. I like your dog. His name is Maxwell. Hi, Maxwell. Can I play with him? You can pet him. Will he bring my ball back? I'm sorry, Caillou, but I can't let him play ball with you. <gasps> Maxwell is a very special dog. He has work to do. Work? Yes, he helps me. What does he do? Well, Caillou, I'm blind, and Maxwell is my guide dog. Blind? My friend Barbara can't see. <gasps> so Maxwell's job is to see for me. Caillou was surprised to learn that dogs had jobs to do just like grown-ups. Would you like to see how he helps me? Barbara is blind, remember? That means she can't see you nodding your head. So if you would like to see how Maxwell does his job, you have to tell me. Okay, yes. Yes, please. This is Maxwell's harness. I hold on to it and he leads me everywhere. Caillou loved seeing how Maxwell showed Barbara which way to go. What's Maxwell doing now, Caillou? He's sitting. When he sits down, he's telling me it's not safe to walk. Wow. discovered that Maxwell was a smart dog. A very smart dog. sound meant it was safe to cross the street. We can go. But Maxwell knew it wasn't completely safe to cross just yet. Good boy, Maxwell. Good boy, Maxwell. Way to go. You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each 
each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough, except when I've had enough. But there's lots of fun stuff I'm Caillou beats the heat. It was a hot, hot summer day, and Caillou was getting ready to go to the swimming pool. He had a hard time getting his water wings on, but he was sure his flippers would be much easier. Now all Caillou needed was his swim goggles and his cape. What's this? A duck wearing a cape? No, it's me, Caillou. Whoa, better wow. take those flippers off. You might trip. I'm going to wear them on my hands <laughs> instead of my feet. Can we go to the swimming pool, Mommy? Oh, I'm sorry, honey. We can't go to the pool today. Why? Daddy and I have a lot to do around the house. Caillou was sad. He really wanted to go swimming today. Swim! 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 Rosie wants to go swimming, too. Oh, we'll try to go tomorrow, Caillou. But I want to go today. Gilbert's hot, too. He's got no water. Gilbert drinks juice. Mommy, Rosie's throwing her juice. Caillou, don't clean up juice with your beach towel. I just wanted to help. I'm going outside. Don't forget your hat. Oh, and Caillou, don't forget your sunscreen. But it's so sticky. You need it. The sun is very strong today. And it's hot, too. Well, here's something to keep you cool. Thanks, Mommy. Caillou couldn't help laughing at how silly Gilbert looked. <laughs> but he was still sad about not going to the swimming pool. You're hot. And sticky, too. You need a good washing up. And cooling down. <laughs> You set it up, and I'll turn it on. Okay! Nothing's coming out, Mommy! You, <laughs> you tricked me! <laughs> Come on, Caillou. Jump in. <laughs> so Caillou found out that you can have just as much fun in your own backyard. I don't know about Gilbert, though. <laughs> Come on, Gilbert. Jump in! <laughs> Backseat driver. Caillou was looking forward to going to the restaurant for supper. soon. Daddy, I'm hungry! Rosie hungry! I know. Mommy's waiting for us at the restaurant. It won't be long. Ow! Daddy, Rosie broke my car! I'll take a look at it when we arrive. We'll be there soon. Hot. Rosie hot. 
Can you roll the window down? Window down! Rosie, stop repeating everything! Caillou was angry with Rosie, and he was hungry and hot, too. Both of you, please stop. Look, we're moving again. <laughs> Everything's going to be fine. I'll go take a look. Just great. <laughs> Caillou felt bad that Rosie was scared and wanted to make her feel better. Okay, Rosie. Daddy? Yes, Caillou? When are we going to see Mommy? First, we have to wait until the tow truck arrives. It shouldn't be much longer. He's going to tow us to the garage. Okay, folks, we're all set. Are we going to ride up there? No, you're going to ride in the truck with me. Have you ever ridden in a tow truck before? No. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. You'll see. How's it going back there? Are you going to fix our car? No, I just tow him. But you'll meet my dad at the garage. He's the one who fixes him. Your dad? Yep, like it says on the side of the truck. Sullivan and son. I'm the son, Jack Sullivan. I'm Caillou. My daddy doesn't fix cars. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure that your dad knows how to fix a whole bunch of things. a wrench and a hammer in his toolbox, too. Really? And he can't fix a car. <laughs> Can you fix my car? Won't be a problem, son. I'll have her up and running in no time. No, my car. Rosie broke the wheel. Why don't we let Mr. Sullivan do his work? We'll fix your car later, okay? Okay. In a minute, Caillou. I have to call Mommy first. I'll get you a snack, Caillou. I want a chocolate bar. Oh, did I press the granola bar button by mistake? I'm sorry, Caillou. Can I press the button? Make sure you press the right one. After having heard from Daddy, Mommy was happy that everyone was safe and sound. Oh, hello. I'm not used to seeing you dining alone. Where are Caillou and Rosie? They'll be joining me later. They've been held up. Hmm, what do you recommend this evening? Uh, Mr. Sullivan? Down here. All done, Caillou. Your car's all fixed up. Daddy's car is fixed. But mine is still broken. Mr. Sullivan, would you mind if I borrowed a few of your tools? Not at all. Help yourself. Aha. Exactly what I need. Caillou was happy that his daddy was able to fix his car. 
He loved helping Daddy fix things. Was the garage fun? Yes! We got both of our cars fixed. Both cars? My car was fixed too. Lost and found. Okay, Caillou, remember what I told you. Keep your eyes on the ball. I got it! That's okay. Just take oh. your time. Hey! Give me my ball! Come back! Daddy, help! He's got my ball! <laughs> gotcha! He has a collar, so he must belong to someone. Well, we've looked a long time, and no one seems to know whose dog this is. He's all alone? He must be lost. He's a scruffy little guy, isn't he? Scruffy? We could call him Scruffy. Oh, could I keep him, Daddy? Please? I'm sorry, Caillou, but this dog probably belongs to someone who misses him very much. Huh? I'll tell you what, though. We can help find his owner. How's that? Okay. Caillou was sad. He wanted to keep the dog all to himself. Hello? Anybody home? Who's this? I found him. His name is Scruffy. He was lost in the park. I thought we could help find his owner. Why don't you two take him outside and clean him up? Time to rinse him off. <laughs> ah, look out! It was time to look for Scruffy's owner, so Daddy decided to take his picture to put on a poster. Smile, Scruffy! <laughs> Perfect. Now we just have to make copies and buy some dog food on our way home. What if no one calls Daddy? Can I keep him? We'll see. Taking care of a dog is a big job. Hello? Yes? Uh-huh. That's him. Great. See you then. That was Scruffy's owner. She saw your poster and is coming over to pick him up. She's been so sad since we lost Rocky. I'm so glad you found him. It was Caillou who found him. Right, Caillou? Do you have a dog? No, but I have a cat. His name is Gilbert. Really? You're lucky. I wanted a cat too, but my dad is allergic. Time to go, sweetie. I'm so happy you found him. Thanks for taking care of Rocky for me. Even though Caillou was sad that Scruffy was leaving, he was very proud that he had helped. Bye! Bye! Bye. <laughs> Gilbert! Holiday magic! <laughs> Caillou loved looking at all the Christmas lights in his neighborhood. He was very excited because today he was going to visit Santa. What are you drawing, Caillou? A picture for Santa, so he'll remember what to bring me for Christmas. That's a great idea. What are you going to ask for? Caillou was having a very hard time deciding what to ask Santa to bring him for Christmas. What about a toy car? Caillou finally knew what to ask Santa for. Getting a Christmas tree? Today, right after Dad finishes up his work. He could hardly believe it. Seeing Santa and decorating the tree all in the same day. Caillou! <laughs> We're going to 
put decorations on the tree, not on you. Where's Daddy? I think he's still on the phone. He'll be out in a minute. I'll go get him. Daddy, hurry! We're going to see Santa! I'll just be a minute, Caillou. You're tracking snow into the house. Caillou was very impatient to see Santa and wanted Daddy to get off the phone. Okay, thank you very much. I'll talk to you soon. Come on, Daddy, hurry! <laughs> okay, okay, I'm coming. You know what? I think I better go to the bathroom first. Go fast, Daddy! <laughs> this is a switch. I usually have to wait for you. I'll just be a minute. Caillou, wait for us! He was very excited to go and see Santa. Caillou! Daddy? Caillou was afraid to get on the escalator by himself, and Daddy was already on his way up. It's okay, I'm coming down. Daddy looked very funny walking down the escalator going the wrong way. <laughs> That's the wrong way! You're right. The up escalator is only for going up, but I had to come and get you. Clementine! Hi, Caillou. I'm gonna tell Santa what I want for Christmas. Me too. What do you want? I want a new doll and a jump rope and an oven so I can make my own cakes and cookies and maybe a new teddy bear or a big fluffy dog. What are you asking for? But that's only one thing. Caillou wasn't sure if he should ask Santa for more, but all he really wanted was this one special thing. Watching Clementine with Santa, he was suddenly a little nervous to go up and ask him for what he wanted. Go on, Caillou. It's your turn. <laughs> What's this? A picture for me? I love getting pictures. Did you write your name on it? Well, then you'd better tell me your name so I don't forget who it's from. Caillou. <laughs> this is a beautiful drawing, Caillou. Why don't you climb up here and tell me more about it? Caillou was very happy that Santa liked his drawing, and he didn't feel shy anymore. <laughs> Why, this looks like a dinosaur. Yes, it's a dinosaur that walks and talks. <gasps> you mean you want a real dinosaur? <laughs> no, a toy dinosaur with batteries. <laughs> Phew! I don't have many real dinosaurs at the North Pole, but I think I just might have the kind that you want. Yeah! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Caillou! Caillou was happy that he had asked Santa for a dinosaur. And who's this? Rosie's my sister. Rosie? That's a beautiful name. And what would you like for Christmas, Rosie? <laughs> Rosie's a little scared, Caillou. I think we better wait until next year. I'm going to bring you something special for Christmas, Rosie. Bye, Caillou. <laughs> Have a merry, merry Christmas. Caillou was proud of being a big boy and not being afraid of Santa anymore. Where are the trees, Daddy? Sorry, I just sold my last Christmas tree to that family over there. Look at my tree, Caillou. We're going home to decorate it. Bye! I want to decorate a Christmas tree, too. I'm sorry, Caillou, but there are none left. There you go, kid. If you come back tomorrow, I promise I'll have the best tree waiting just for you. I won! I won! So, I'll see you folks tomorrow. Merry Christmas! Caillou was very upset. He didn't want to wait for tomorrow. He wanted to decorate the tree today. Mommy, Daddy, look! What on earth? <laughs> Gilbert! <laughs> <laughs> Caillou didn't 
want to be outside. He wanted to be inside, decorating a Christmas tree. Why can't we get a tree, Daddy? The man said he'd have more trees tomorrow, Caillou. But I want to decorate the tree now. You know what? Maybe we can. Really? Why don't we go inside and get that box of decorations? We're going to decorate us a Christmas tree. Mommy, can we still have a tree inside? Of course we can, sweetie. Caillou thought he was the luckiest boy in the world. Santa Claus was bringing him a dinosaur. And he was going to have two Christmas trees. Ready? Wow! Caillou thought it was the most beautiful tree he had ever seen.